Welcome back, everybody, to NFL Week 6 preview and predictions from just me today. Um, most weeks, Tyrell will be here, but not this week, and that's all good. Um, yeah, he kind of did better than us this week, but record-wise, we have not looked good. I expected us to do a lot better than what we are. Um, Tyro was nine and five. I was eight and six, and Temple was seven and seven. So, like, we haven't had no Temple last week had or or the week or week four had a breakout week. I believe it was either that or week three. He had a breakout week. But uh, other than that, our records have not really been good throughout most of the week. But Tyrell is in the lead at 47 and 31. I am 45 and 33, and Temple is 44 and, and 34. So still very close. All it takes is one week for someone to grab a spot or two up closer to whoever's leading. So we're going to see tonight, Thursday night football. It will be the Broncos versus the Chiefs. We all got the Chiefs. Surprise, surprise. Baltimore at the Tennessee Titans. And it's not at Tennessee. This is an international game. I uh, honestly I don't know. I don't know, but me and Temple are rocking with the Ravens and Tyrell has the Titans. So that's that on that. The Commanders on the road at Atlanta. I like Atlanta at home. I like them at home and I think they will beat the commanders. Um, and I'm the only one rocking with Atlanta here. Surprise. I really thought that someone else would pick Atlanta, but I'm the only one rocking with ATL here. Minnesota at the Chicago Bears. Um, no Justin Jefferson. No problem. Give me the Vikings against the Chicago Bears. Tyrell going with the Bears. Crazy man. Seattle at Cincinnati. I should be picking Seattle here, but guess what I'm going to do? Not pick them. Going with the Bengals. I think they might get in a row here, and I'm going to pick Bengals. I'm the only one rocking with the Bengals. Um, Tyrell and Temple are going with um, the Seahawks. 49ers at the Cleveland Browns. And um, I know this is three minutes into it, and people's like, where's the wrestling news? I will talk about it after the picks. Um, because there's just something I will talk about, and it'll be in the title. So uh, we all got the 49ers over the Browns. Deshaun Watson not playing. P.J. Walker will have the start for the Browns. Carolina at the Miami Dolphins. Boy, poor Carolina. It's going to be an 0-6 start. Dolphins, big. Colts at Jacksonville. Um, We're all rocking with the Jags here. All rocking with the Jags. Saints at the Houston Texans. T Mac has the Texans. Boy, he's hot on them. But I'm not yet as a team. But CJ Shroud, oh my gosh. You talking about impressive. Very impressive. But I got who that? I got the Saints. New England at the Las Vegas Raiders. We all got the Raiders of the Patriots. That's how bad the Patriots has looked. Arizona at the Rams. 
all rocking with the Rams. Philly at the New York Jets. We all got the uh, Eagles. And this one's going to surprise you folks. But I am just being honest. Detroit at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I love my team. The only good team we are uh, very solid team that we faced that had a great record was the Eagles. Look at that game. Mike Evans might not be playing defensive players. Um, there's well going to be several that potentially are out. Some that's questionable. Even at full strength right now, even though we are playing good, I got the Lions. I like what the Lions are doing. And someone might need to write this date down because I think this is the only time I've picked against Tampa on these NFL picks. It's crazy to me, I know, but I'm going with the Lions. Baker playing hell of a good ball, but... I got to go Lions here. Uh, the Lions are just playing very good ball just overall. And they, uh, both of them picked the Lions. The New York Giants at the Buffalo Bills. Come on now. Bills. Doesn't matter if Denny Dimes was playing. He ain't playing no offensive line. So we got, I got, we all got Bills easily. Cowboys at the Chargers. Um, Team Hack got the Cowboys. Temple got the Chargers. And I'm rocking with the Chargers for Monday Night Football. So that is NFL Week 6 pre predictions and everything. Should be a great one. A uh, great week. And let me talk about the wrestling news just a little bit. We got NXT, right? We got NXT beating AEW by 300,000 viewers. A little bit over 300,000. Did WWE stack NXT? Yes. Yeah, they did with big names. Of course they did. They want to beat AEW when AEW switches the nights to Tuesday like they had to. I mean, it's their night of television that they separated from uh, AEW. Now, with the playoffs, the MLB playoffs and all that, they had to switch to two today's. Well, I mean, did you think, did you think Shawn Michaels, Triple H, all of them, did you think they weren't going to try to win this? Come on now. But um, I don't even like talking about that. But um, Tony Khan today has tweeted multiple times about it and saying this is the only show uh, John Cena and The Undertaker was under 1 million uh, viewers and their demo was below something. Tony, you, you really sound really desperate. If you're talking about that. Dog. Just stay humble. Keep on doing what you're doing. But you cannot say something about viewership. And everything. When they literally beat you by 300,000. And your arenas. Are empty. A lot of the shows. Which is. I don't understand how that even happens. Just get smaller venues, Tony. Get smaller venues, please. And the other great wrestling news that we that we have seen today is TKO and um, what's his name? Whoever owns Endeavor, um, Emero, Emero, whatever, Mister Emero. Came out today, and listen to this. This is a boy. Oh, what a great day, man! If you're a wrestling fan, this is a great day. 
he came out and said that their stock has dropped because of Vince McMahon. He literally threw Vince McMahon under the bus. I don't know about you, but we can tell that the shows lately have been running by with Triple H. And now we get a good reason why. Is Vince out? I don't know. I have no idea. But it seems like he might be out here soon. Maybe. I don't know. We can all hope that it's very sooner than later. But it seems like TKO and Mr. Romero has really sided with Triple H. And knows that Triple H is right for the business in today's age. That is great news, folks. That is great news. Hope you guys enjoyed this NFL Week 6 with some wrestling news that I had to talk about. And until next time for college football Week 7 predictions, I'll see you guys then. Have a great one and have a blessed, blessed day.